know I'm gonna get in my today. I'm just kind of guessing. Those corners look sharp. Good morning. We are on the way to Chesterfield, which is about 45 minutes from my ass. We're gonna be building this stone chimney today in someone's ass. So should be a pretty interesting build. Sad. I'll catch up with you when I'm there. <laughs> Dear. You know what, in my head, for some reason, I was picturing this big, grand chimney. And it turns out it's this poxy little thing here. Got all our stones in, got plenty of compo. Just found out that we're doing away with the internal flue. It's having like, um, you know, the steel or aluminium ones you see get put in. So as long as I've got six inches from the back to the center, it'll go in fine, which will easily manage that. Right, this is how we're looking. I've set some lines, they are plumb, parallel, so at least I've got something to run to, because at the moment I'm just kind of guessing. Right, let's crack on. Hey up, I just thought I'd do a voiceover while editing this video. In that previous clip, you can hear how annoyed I was. Um, I think it was almost 12 o'clock and I'd barely done anything. I was just trying to figure out how to lay this stone. It's so foreign, but I just remembered from Morgan the Builder's videos he's been laying stone and he used plumb lines so I ended up setting a couple of plumb lines up and that kind of saved the day so once again YouTube and watching other people work and lay has kind of saved the day and definitely helped me out massively anyway back to the normal footage let's crack on all I'm doing is just building into my lines build this line this line filling in that and then working my way round with the square after. But well, I'm following this board here, which is plumb. So that's like my third line, and then that. To make sure that this one is in line with these two, I'm just using my square, touching the line and just ranging it through like that. And then I'm just working my way round the corner. Okay, touching lines. And then I'm just working it way, all the way round. Oh, I don't know. It's just about midday and yeah that's that's pretty much it so far slow start this morning trying to figure this stuff out but I think it looks all right but like I say I've never laid it or worked with this sort of material so as a bricklayer I don't know what I'm trying to look out for now, obviously I'm keeping it plumbing in line but apart from that I'm just kind of guessing. So at the moment, this is an off cut. So I'm just, I'm just dressing the face. So 
so it looks about right, like it looks like it's been cut from a factory. point or one of the main reasons I started this channel was to learn from other people. I've been taught by mm -hmm, I don't know three, four bricklayers. Which is really good. All oh, very good bricklayers. But if you can get a couple thousand people watching your videos and then even if five percent of them leave comments whether it's positive, just like nice work, negative, uh, like criticism, or just general being rude. Most of the time you can learn something from it. I think since starting this channel, I've learned loads more. Because you've got loads of other bricklayers watching you, critiquing, and then saying how they like to do things, and then you pick things up. I think that's what the whole point of this sort of social media thing is at the moment, for me anyway. It's definitely not about showing off, saying look what I can do. I'm my own biggest critique. Sound. Hey all, I just thought I'd check in on you because I'm on the way home now. Um, we are four courses from the ceiling, so that's pretty good. The foreman ended up uh, popping in and I had a good chat with him. He was absolutely buzzing and so was the customer. So I guess if they're happy, I think I'm on to a winner. To be honest with you, I was really, really nervous and I really didn't want to do this job, um, which I've got no shame in saying. I've never laid stone before and I've never laid this uh, natural stone either. So I was proper nervous about doing it, but once I set those plumb bobs up, it kind of went smooth sailing and I just squared all the way around and just followed those lines and it went really well. So still pretty slow, but overall not too bad. So tomorrow I'm gonna finish it off and that should be a wrap on this job. Got a few little bits of bobs to do, but nothing major. So sand, I will catch up with you in the morning. See you in a bit. All right then, this is how we are looking at the moment. We ended up brush, uh, wire brush pointing everything and it's come up really nice. A few little bits and bobs to fill. That top stone there, that's like a tiny little fakey, uh, which cut down from 140 to 160. But yeah, overall it's gone all right. Just waiting for this to dry 
Um, so yeah, it's gone really well. Customer is absolutely buzzing and so is the foreman. So it looks like I've secured a load more work, which is sand. Hopefully not in stone. There we go. We have just finished pointing, brushing and titivating and it is done. I know it's not much, but um, I'm actually really proud of this job. Uh, it might be totally wrong, but I'm really proud of this. For saying how much I struggled yesterday, those first few courses, proper scratching my head. And I, I think it's come good. I'm really happy with it. Those, those corners look sharp, really sharp. For saying I've never done stonework before, I don't think I've done too bad. You guys let me know. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me struggle and a bit of genuine chat by me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Please leave some feedback so I do know if I've done right or wrong and you can give me some tips. But yeah, sand. Take care, guys. See you in a bit.